Um, why are you here? Is this like a 10 hour drive for you? Is that right? Yeah, eight and a half from where I came from. Yeah. It's a big deal. Why, why'd you come all the way out here for this little get together? Because of the people, man. I love every single person here. Even the people I haven't met yet. I just, I just love, I love them already. Just a great example of why I'm here at the Culture Project reunion. It's the people. I have some amazing friends that I formed through this mission and people that I will be journeying through life with. That's why I'm here. And I was so overwhelmed uh, looking across the cafeteria this evening at dinner. And to think, like, oh my gosh, this dream, this vision that many of us that are in this room tonight set out together to accomplish or to be a part of, is it's actually like coming true. I just want to say it's particularly call out Christina right now though and just say how <laughs> how grateful we are for you like none of us would be here without your yes your constant sacrifices that you have given to this community uh, to each of us individually how much you pour into us like you in terms of a, the word boss it's like you are truly following what it means to serve and to love a community. You have brought us all together and the Holy Spirit has truly worked through your constant giving, so thank you. Whether it's been a week, whether it's been a day, whether it's been an hour, whether it's been a year, these are people that I know I can call, I can text, and, and they feel the same way with me. So in the in the truest sense with that, that really familial love that doesn't go away, uh, it's another family. I think so too, just, just the, the sense of being part of a bigger mission, you know, I, I feel like I feel like my years at Culture Project really solidified in my mind that these are things these are things that God has placed in my heart and they're never going away. So it's hard to like pick one thing that the Culture Project like formed me in because I feel like the the mission itself, the community, um, the invitation to be fully alive, the practicality of virtue just matured me as a woman, um, helped me to come into my identity in a more full way, made me more self-aware of my weaknesses and shortcomings and gave me the community to help overcome those weaknesses. This community, you know, has made a big difference in my life. The individuals that, that I serve with and those that I've gotten to know that are currently missionaries of the Culture Project and all of that's, you know, continuing to, to really influence me and I think wanting to be here, to be plugged in again, to be a part of this mission is a big part of my life and something I want to continue to be a part of while being a Capuchin as well. The depth of the friendships, of the, the brotherhood and sisterhood that you form are, are something that I haven't found anywhere else in my life and will treasure for the rest of my life. Just a sense of gratitude, uh, just for everything that uh, I've learned here, all the formation that I've received, all the community life experiences, all the knowledge that I've gained, and to be able to take, take that experience and know that it doesn't end when you stop being a missionary, that your time as a missionary will just continue on. Uh, it'll look different, you'll have different places to go, you'll have different people to meet, but the mission of the Culture Project extends, extends forever. Just so grateful to be able to have been a part of that as a missionary and to be able to continue that now as well. 